Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. Now this is the latest game made by the developers of Don't Starve and Don't Starve Together. I believe it's pronounced Clay Entertainment, but don't quote me on that one. But they gave me a key for an early, not even early access, but a pre-alpha build of the game to test out. And I'm really excited about it because this game, supposedly, it's kind of a space survival, colony management, death is lurking behind every single door type game. Because I may hate the ocean, and uh, some people call me out on my, uh, my hypocrisy because space is kind of the same way. It's just a big old ball of death no matter where you look. But I'm ready to help Quincy, Horatio, and Elvira live in this terrifying, dark place known as space. So I want to point out that I've never played this game before, I have no idea how to play it, I've never seen a video on it, so I'm going to be learning from scratch, because there's not many resources on how to play it in the first place, and I wouldn't necessarily do anything about that anyway. I'm not 100% sure of what I should do about this, but Quincy seems pretty good, he's a level 7 miner. Horatio, level 1, not very athletic, but at least Elvira is pretty good architect. So what am I, I, I- I've never done this before, so I'm gonna... Jack, grease monkey, small bladder... A lifetime of running is a, from his responsibilities made Jack emotionally impenetrable. No, no, I gotta do that one. Ooh, a scientist. Grub thinks plants are neat. That's good. I kinda like that, but I think I can do better. Woodrow... A physician might be nice. Stress response <laughs> vomiter. Oh man, everyone else's stress response is destructive. Well, that's no good. Eleanor, oh, I like dancey feet. Ooh, hell yeah. Oh, mole hands. I don't know what that means. A severe climate requires a severe woman. This Eleanor is that woman. Okay, I'm down for this. I'm down for this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually name this guy. He's Mark. I'm a miner because I like digging things. At any given moment, a mark is viscerally <laughs> reliving ten different humiliating memories. Well, that is absolutely the truth. Okay, name your colony. Um... Duh. I'm gonna name this- let's just imagine from my Kerbal Space Program playthrough that, uh, the crashy, uh, McSplody- <laughs> the crashy McSplody turned into a colony in space after it finally went off into the stars and uh, the crashy McSplody is now the uh, smashy sm <laughs> the smashy McDeathy colony. That's what it is. We're uh, we're, we're real optimistic here at the smashy McDeathy colony and uh, hopefully we're gonna survive. <laughs> Alright, let's embark. Let's go on this. I'm ready for this. I'm super ready. Alrighty then. Ooh, new hope! Alert! Your crew has awoken miles beneath the surface of an unfamiliar terrestrial body. Oddly, they have no recollection of how they got there. It might be best to start digging. Okay! Well... Oh, this is weird. So, we went through... Oh, a printing pod. Next duplicate. What? Ration box? Okay. Basic controls. I should read this. WASD to pan your camera mouse wheel to zoom in and out. H will return to the printing pod. Simulation can be sped up by using the top buttons on the left. Ooh. Uh, pressing tab will cycle through them. Okay, space will pause. Uh, let's just pause that until I know what I'm doing. Colony requires toilets. I'll get to that in just a second. I need to figure out my bearings because I want to actually learn here. I don't want to just fail, flail miserably. I mean, that's going to happen anyway, but don't worry about it. I'll get to that. Duplicates are generally self-motivated and do not need to be individually managed in order to form tasks in the colony. You can use the dig tool, G, and the build menu in the lower left of the screen to begin planning job tasks. Once you have a few placed, your duplicates will automatically get to work for you. Uh, they're like the Sims. Okay, alright, so dig. So obviously we would probably need to dig through here and connect the dots. I imagine it would be bad if we went too high because that looks like the cold, deathly vacuum of space, and I don't think we need to go there. So let's just dig a path through here. Ooh, I like that. And then, uh, ooh, is that some sort of mineral? That might be a mineral, I'm not 100% sure. And then the build tools, which are down here. Ooh. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh. Neato. Oh, cool. Missing resource raw material. Okay. So, 
we're basically gonna have to get materials to build stuff for the Smashy McDeathy colony. And then, be pretty good. Stress, pretty low. Population low. Available calories. Okay, good. Alright. Okay, so I guess, I guess we just go for it, right? Alright, go for it. Whoa. Oh, boy. Man, screw shovels. I want a laser gun to dig through my problems. Holy shit. Okay, but that's cool. Because what that means is... Ooh, shit. Alright, so right click to get out of that. What that means is... Ah. So, all things go into the storage box, or is that just the ration box? Because we got oxygen going in there, but it's dropping rapidly. I need to get that taken care of soon. I need some sort of power. Ooh, a manual generator. Can I have Mark just run off all his problems? And I'm just gonna dig out. I'm gonna get this nice, nice and even here. Let's get a nice, maybe, maybe actually open up this, because then we might be able to collect all these resources while we're doing this. And then, uh, they can hurry up their tasks by speeding it up. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I love this. And, and I love Don't Starve to death. Like, I love that game. It's absolutely awesome. And they're getting a ton of resources there. I don't know where they're being stored, but I've got a tab for consumable ore, organic materials, edible, raw, and then raw metal. So uh, that's copper. So that's definitely copper. So let me, uh, pause this for a second. So what I need to do, I have- Oh! I now have materials. So I can build a manual generator. I'll keep it like... I'll keep it like right here, I guess. Alright then. Then electrical wire will run that to whatever I need to power, right? Oh, and then I probably need a battery. So I'm just gonna do this, because I'm experimenting here, I don't exactly know what's gonna go on. So I definitely need to do that, and then I'll probably need an algae condenser right there. Yeah. Alright, right there. Okay. And let's see how that does. I don't know if that's gonna be any sort of good. Oh! So the materials just lie on the ground. Whoa, okay, alright then. They're just shooting their- What are they- are they just shooting? They're just shooting nuts and bolts at it. That's even better! A laser to deconstruct anything, and then a scrap gun. That's amazing! Okay, so those are gonna go there, and I'm hoping- Okay, do I need to connect those with a wire? Yeah, I do, don't I? Alright, ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Alright then. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, so wiring. Oh, I thought that was just gonna be buried in the ground, but that's actually a little bit inconvenient. Okay, so I missed a foundation. I just- Okay, I just ruined everything. Is there a way to like, uh, put stuff back in that? Because I just ruined that. I just absolutely destroyed that. I am an idiot. That is stupid. How do I put foundation back there? Okay, I've already screwed up everything. I know that for a fact. You guys just need to calm down. Do I need to put red alert on this one? Because I don't know if that, if that's absolutely necessary here. Everybody just calm down. I'm a bad manager here. Don't know what I'm doing. All right, you know what? I think I gotta deconstruct these because I, I, I goofed real hard. All right, there we go. Let's just, I, I goofed real bad. And I'm sorry. Oh boy. Okay, so... Alright, so let's just- let's just do this again. I'm gonna dig out here, and this is gonna be the area where we kind of make stuff. And then, uh, we're just gonna assume that this was planned. Okay, I can connect wires directly across things, so they don't need to be out of the way of anything else. So now that I got the power, I can have my little guy- Yes! Yes! And then I can have from the- from this to- oh, I, I guess I could- Ooh, that's- that's not what I wanted. How do I not- Oh, okay. All right then, I'm just gonna deconstruct this and have this nearby then. Because I don't necessarily need that to be far away. Have that right there. And then just wire it straight across. Yes. 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 Yes! Maybe? I have no idea. Uh, oh, they just passed out. That's so adorable. Why did they all just fall down at the same time? Alright then. Hope you all don't die in the depths of space. Whoa. Is there like no limit to oh my god, what is that? Oh, that looks scary. I don't know if I want any of that. That looks very scary. 
Okay, so there seems to be some sort of gas over there that's probably going to explode and melt our faces off. And then there's probably a whole bunch of other problems over here. This is just pure liquid blood. Oh no, this magma. Oh, that actually is death. Okay, that's good. Hydrogen. Unbreathable, but probably a good resource. Water, which is very important, so we eventually got to get down to that water. Because I bet we don't have any of that, and we need toilets. Oh boy, we need toilets. Okay, I should have probably- Oh, a, a massage. A massage table. Stations, research station, medical cot, outhouse, that'd be nice. Alright, uh, we'll put the outhouse all by the- by the hydrogen place. I can't- can't build it there, apparently. But there, by the hydrogen place. That way, the methane and the hydrogen will combine and then a spark will go off and everything will blow up and we'll all die. That sound good? Alright, so, now I just need to make sure that this is wired up. It is, right? So, is that going? Awaiting material delivery. Oh! Holy crap, he automatically does it! I don't even need to assign that! That's so cool! And then they're gonna build this outhouse, right? Maybe? Eleanor's just waiting, like, Come on, Mark! Jesus Christ! Can't you tell I have needs? Jeez, oh, Eleanor. Gosh, if you would get off your lazy ass and actually help me build something! We're not all artists like you, Eleanor! Where, where? Oh. Oh, they're hungry. Oh, time to eat. <laughs> they have to suck. They have to suck the food out of the box. They don't know how to use their hands anymore. Everything's just done in their multi-tools. You know what? I can appreciate that. If I had a tool that could do anything, destruction and construction at the same time, I wouldn't be bothering with these old bad boys anymore. Do my let's plays purely through the power of lasers. I get it. You all need to take shit. Why don't you just go? Duplicants must have accessible paths to their jobs in order to work. When placing tasks, keep in mind the duplicants can only climb obstacles two tiles high and are themselves two tiles tall. Oh, okay then. So they can't get up there is the problem. Hmm. Well, that's fine. Uh, that's okay. I know, it's ready. It's right there. Insufficient re Insufficient resources?! What do you mean, insufficient resources?! What more could you possibly need?! You can't get dirt?! Really? Well, there's some dirt on the ground over there, but I, I, I don't know if I wanna... Yeah, I guess we might as well. I guess we need some dirt, I suppose. Alright, go for it. Can I cancel this one? Wait, I can cancel this order. There we go. Cancel that. Ah! They fell. Wait, you gotta fall? Alright, then. That's so cool. All right, so you- Whoa! You got- you got that. Ah! Uh, I'm watching you! There you go. Nice. Okay, so apparently I need a lot of dirt to go into that. So I need to actually do some more stuff here. I need to make a food. Produces low quality food with low quality ingredients. So I'm just gonna put that there and hope they dig it out of the way. And then power. And there we go. Go for it! Alright, there we go. Ooh, did Elvira level up? Hell yeah! Go for it, Elvira! Shit, are we running out of shit? Probably. Stop getting in the way. Okay, we got rations. Uh, we don't have a lot of rations. We need some more food real bad. Uh, we're doing okay on breathable gas, thankfully. That's pretty good. And what is that? Oxalate? Oh, okay. Oxalite blocked. Oh! Oh, that's cool! So that just naturally distributes oxygen. Oh. Ooh, what is this? Mush bar or lice loaf? Uh, <laughs> may cause diarrhea with a mush bar. Ah! I don't know if I want that! I think we'll make lice loaf, even though that sounds absolutely terrible. Oh, oh meal lice. Oh, fuck, dude. Alright, we're gonna make that, I guess. Oh, shit. So this is a lot more in-depth than I thought it was gonna be. And my little guys, I love you to death, Elvira, Elnor, and Mark. You gotta be just fine. If you think that I would let anything happen to you guys, you'd be absolutely right. You are going to die a lot. Okay, duplicates will seek out and collect water and other liquids up to two tiles away and deliver it to buildings. Okay, so we gotta get down to that water. But we can't just dig straight down, we need to build a path to it. So I need to dig smartly. So we're gonna build a- we're gonna like Minecraft style this shit. Okay, and then we're gonna build a landing. And then we're gonna dig back down again. I wonder if they burn more calories or something when they're climbing up and down stuff. 
Oh, this is so cool! I love this! I love the automation- Oh, I, I freaking cut them off. I didn't build that right. Well, I'm dumb. Food shortage? Oh, shit. Zero calories of food available! Oh, because you're far away from it. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, they don't have oxygen down there. Oh, no, they're suffocating. Oh, God! I- Oh, shit. Um, okay, all right. You go up, 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 up. Uh. Fuck. All right, um. Maybe like that? Maybe they could climb up that way? Oh, please get up there. I did not do that right. I did not do that. There, Mark's dead. Oh, God. Elvira's dead. Oh, God. Eleanor's dead. Well. <laughs> I feel awful. <laughs> I feel terrible. I feel awful. What have I done? <laughs> ah, shit, dude. Okay. Uh, oh, they're all dead, aren't they? Oh, they're pretty dead. Yeah, okay, they're dead. All right, they're dead. Okay, so... That didn't work out too well. I'm a bad <laughs> colony manager. I did bad. But either way, that'll be the first episode of Oxygen Not Included. I want to do more of this. I want to do a lot more of this. This seems really, really cool. So I'm going to play this again. Resume game. They're dead. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to have another episode of this and maybe a few more after that because this seems really cool. I love the concept of it. I love management style games like this. And I love games where I can get attached to the characters. And now they're dead, so I'm sad, but, you know, maybe next time I'll have people that aren't going to be so dead. So that'll be kind of fun, too. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. I don't know if you guys are able to play the pre-alpha just yet, but uh, if there is a way, I'll provide a link in the description so that you can try the game for yourself. So thank you again, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!